the Beach FM Business Lunch Show, brought to you by Placemakers, Kapiti and Orofenua. Together, we're building New Zealand. Welcome back to the Business Lunch Show on Beach FM 106.3. Let's talk about retail now, and let's welcome into the show from Gorgeous Things in Romati Beach, it is Maria Christensen. G'day, Maria. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. How are you doing at this time? Yeah, good. Very good, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Hey, what we like to do first and foremost uh, on the show is get to know the people that we're talking to and um, just a bit about yourself. How did how did Gorgeous Things come to be? A uh, bit about your background leading up to that. Okay. So, um, yeah, we moved up to the Cuppity Coast about eight years ago and I was actually looking for just part-time work and... Um, couldn't find anything sort of local that I really wanted and Gorgeous Things, which has been in the area for quite a few years, came on the market so I decided to buy it <laughs> and it's all been great from there on. So um, yeah, that's how I came to own Gorgeous Things and it was five years ago. Fantastic. Did you have a background in retail or fashion or anything like that beforehand? No, well my background was retail banking actually, so oh, wow. I spent about 15 years working for the National Bank, as it was back then, yes. and um, yeah, in sales and customer service, and I just loved it. I loved the customer service and the sales side of banking, yeah. but um, didn't want to be in banking, and so um, this sort of is a perfect fit, because I, I love shopping, and I get to shop all day, and then I get to sell it all and <laughs> start all over again. Fantastic. Okay, so like the shop was available, but you must have been curious before then, or was it just on a whim, if you will. No, not really on a whim. I um, I love that shop anyway. Um, right. And I used to, it used to be my go-to shop for gifts <laughs> and um, when I needed anything special. And um, I would have loved to have worked in there. And um, it wasn't until I sort of saw it was for sale that I thought, hang on, I could actually do this. So, yeah, that's, yeah no, it took a little, per, little bit of persuading from my husband and a couple of friends to, to <laughs> take the plunge. But... No, I went for it, and I'm really pleased I did because, um, yeah, the first 12 months were hard, but once you get through your first 12 months, it's, yeah, it's, you know what you're doing, and it's, it's all been really positive from there on. Fantastic. Hey, from retail banking to store owner, um, what were some of those early learnings that kind of you got uh, going into the field where you might not have uh, known before? Yeah, so probably the, the biggest challenge was when you're buying stock in just quantities, right. um, what are people going to want to buy? You know, just just really trying to figure out what it is your customers want and knowing what price point they're prepared to pay for things. And once once you got that sorted and then got your uh, quantities right, um, that was fine. But that's, it took a full 12-month cycle to, to learn that, to learn what it is that your customers actually want to buy right. and how much they're prepared to pay. And um, I don't want to be have one of those shops where you sell the same as everybody else. So my challenge has been finding different things at a good price point, but still quality and um, customers still love. So that's, that's my ongoing challenge. And yeah, I really enjoy that. So is it like, you, uh, it sounds like a, there's, a, there's a, fo- a focus of making the customer right, but there must be your little, your little feel in there as well. And, and you know, you must, you must like what you're looking at as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're right. So, so usually how I how I go is if I if someone so shows me something new and like it makes me go wow, yeah, that's usually what happens when customers see it as well. So that's my general how I buy. If I see something and go oh wow, I love that, then I have to have it for the shop, and that's what customers like as well. But if I just look at something and go oh yeah, that's that's nice, <laughs> then I won't buy it. I'll just I just move on to the next thing. So. Um, yeah, so it's really, it's been quite selective and really looking for different things. And um, yeah, and it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. What is your your favourite thing to buy? I know you've got such a range of, of things from furniture to, to art. Yeah. To, so what, what, what's yeah. the, what gets you going in like, I, I just love hunting for the, for the special thing? Hunting for those special things. I probably... Whenever, um, I'm always thinking, because I'm always buying gifts for my own family and friends, and I'm always thinking, oh, what what could I find for that person? So I always sort of have someone in my mind when I'm buying who I would actually give it to myself. And usually I'm drawn to things that I love. So um, I always 
you know, it might buy something a little bit quirky, a little bit different. It always has to be slightly different. And, um, and I always think, oh, well, if, if no one wants to buy it, I, I can have it. <laughs> it ends up in my house. <laughs> but that doesn't happen too often. So, um, yeah, I'm always looking for that thing that's slightly quirky that, that, and it's a little bit of fun and you just don't see it in every other every other shop yep. that you you go and visit, yeah. Absolutely. Hey, yeah. I see a lot of local on, on uh, the website. I see a lot of uh, New Zealand made yes, or New Zealand yeah. inspiration. So is that yeah. is that something that's very important to you? Yes, it is. Yep. I try and support local as much as I can. And um, there's some really amazing creative people out there. So I'm always trying to find those people. But I don't want gorgeous things to look like a simply New Zealand or, you know, a, yeah. a a, a shop like that, so I'm really selective with what I buy there as well. Cool. But yeah, if I can support local, I, I will always do that Excellent. first up. And um, but then you've got to mix it up with with some other things that come in from overseas that just to keep the prices down and to keep it more interesting. So yeah, Absolutely. so my yeah, so my favourite thing to buy would be it is probably the homewares to be honest, because yep. there's some really sort of funky, quirky things out there. Which I love, so um, yeah. Fantastic. Hey, I gotta I gotta ask the um, you know those uh, not downer questions, but you know we just had a <laughs> pandemic, you know. So um, yeah. how was that time for you? Did you get to to stop to relax to to regroup like a lot of people did, refresh if you will, or was yeah. it um, was the mind taking over for what's to do next and how can we adjust here? Yes, yeah, a bit of both. <laughs> so the first probably week was like really quite quite frightening actually because it was yep. like, am I going to have a shop at the end of this? What am I going to do with all this stock? My re- our rent had just gone up. It was all that all those horrible thoughts about costs and things like that and, and what am I going to be, do, be doing in six months' time. Yep. And um, then after a while I just thought, oh, blah, I've never had this much time off work in my life. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy it. And I did. We, I loved it. I just loved because I love being at home and the weather was great, and I thought we weren't even allowed to go down to our shops because I wanted to paint and I wanted to sort of freshen it all up, and I had the time to do it. But we weren't actually physically allowed in our shops, so we had to stay away, which was another thing. Um, at that same time, we were supposed to be doing all our Christmas buying, so in you know, Christmas buying, you spend thousands of dollars, yep. and I couldn't actually bring myself to spend that much money when I didn't know what was going to happen. So, yeah, it was, but, you know, it took me a week and I just thought, no, just switch off, just what will be will be. And um, we came out of lockdown, you know, six weeks later, and, my goodness, we've had the best May, June, July ever. (laughs) So people are supporting local. We've got all these new customers that, now work um, work from home up this way and they're out walking, looking in the window and they're buying from us. They're not in Wellington doing their shopping. So we've, yeah, it, it couldn't have gone better, to be honest. So, um, so I've done the Christmas buying and there's going to be lots and lots and lots of gorgeous things coming in over the next few months. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Very Fantastic. Exciting. Well, I know I know we've already talked about the local feel, and, and you did say that there are some overseas. So, has COVID affected any of your um, imports or any of your export business? Yes, yeah, the imports, um, and it's not just affecting the products that we bring in from overseas. It's actually affecting some of our New Zealand suppliers of as course. well because they can't actually get the packaging or the bottles or you know whatever they use for their products. So, um, at the moment. It's a bit hit and miss, like we have a lot of stock on order, but we, we can't tell you when it's coming in. Right. Suppliers don't even know when it's coming in. And when it comes in, it's a bonus, and whether you get everything you've ordered or whether you just get half of it, just you know, you've just got to, to go with the flow. You can't do anything about it. If they air freight it, it doubles the price, so you just got to wait for the ships to come in. So, um, yeah, it's interesting times. Yeah, indeed, mate, indeed. But it's yeah. uh, it's it's awesome to sound as to hear that things have been so busy for you since being back. What are some yeah. of those uh, products? What are some of those uh, things that people should come in and check out? What they should come in and check out? Oh, we've just got well, we've got Father's Day coming up next, and oh, we have nice. a huge range of um, awesome, quirky, fun 
quality gifts for dads and um, that you won't see other places, I hope. So there's loads of um, Father's Day in at the moment. Christmas is going to start coming in and we have a really good price point. So if you just want to spend $15 on someone, if you want to spend $150, you'll find something really lovely and gorgeous things. And um, and it will be quality and, yeah, we back all our products. So, yeah, you'll find something great, that's for sure. Amazing. Maria, lastly, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you this today. Um, well, lastly, as we always ask, uh, where can we find you? How can we get in touch? Right, so we are on 22 Ramatty Road, um, opposite Bailey's and the laundromat of all places. Um, we are open every day, so weekdays 10 till 4.30, Saturday 10 till 4, and Sunday 11 till 3. Um or if you just want to follow us on our Facebook page, every Friday we do updates of what's new and what's come in during the week so you can keep on top of all the new products that are coming into stock. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. Go well, Maria. I'll come and see you Thank real you. soon. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks very much.